Hello, hello, Zisto, and anyone else who may be watching this. This is going to be a little video about reed farms. So, Zisto, in your most recent episode of uh, your adventures on the Minecraft server, you did build this handy dandy little reed farm. It works just fine. It's pretty pretty awesome, but uh, in my opinion, it's it's a little bit large. It requires a little bit more resources than it needs, and it's kind of annoying that it has these irregularities every once in a while. Uh, where you put repeaters down to extend the power. So I kind of wondered to myself, is it possible to redesign this in such a way that it actually ends up solving all of those problems at once? And the answer was uh, yes. Yes, it is, actually. So here you go. Here is the Terrorontor Reed Farm 1.0 um, in all of its amazing glory. As you can see, it is m considerably more compact than this design. These blocks aren't necessary, I suppose, but I figured if you wanted to cover up all of the redstone, you wouldn't need them. Uh, overall, though, taking those into account, this is two blocks thinner and overall one block uh, less tall, I guess. It's actually two blocks less tall, but this one does go out one block further downwards. Um, so let's just see it in action really quick. Whoop, lag, lag. Okay, let's watch that one more time without the lag, preferably. Um... Bam! As you can see, cool wave effect is included. Very fancy schmancy. And like I said, this does also require it. It has no irregularities within the wiring, and it is less resource intensive in terms of the uh, redstone required. And I guess also in terms of uh, everything else. So let's just take a look-see here. Um, here we go. This is the inside of it. It's just the inside itself is only one thick, everything else is visible. Uh, but you have your strip of stone on the bottom, uh, strip, strip of stone on the bottom, strip of stone on the top, and then you just have this cool little zigzag pattern, like checkers. It's very, very simple to build. Just a single repeater uh, on each of the bottom spaces, totally in its default position, just one tick each, and a single bit of redstone in each top spot. At the very end, I did put a uh, single bit of redstone because the repeater was not necessary. There's no reason to use extra resources. But let's explain how this works. So the idea is that you have your repeater, which sends power into this block, which powers the pistons on either side. Uh, it also powers this redstone right here uh, through that block, which powers this repeater, this repeater, and this repeater. And that pattern just repeats. It, it keeps on doing that forever. But the, the question in that case is, how does it power all these other repeaters? It turns out these one or these <laughs> other pistons, I'm saying repeaters, pistons, these ones are actually being powered diagonally by that bit of redstone, and the other pistons going out uh, besides them cause these to go out as well. So every single piston ends up getting powered and then turned off, and it works just fine. It, like I said, it is actually also uh, more res or less resource intensive. It requires many fewer resources, and it has no irregularities because the repeaters end up renewing the power basically every every single step of the way. So in this one, as you can see, let's just say to, the, to power these two pistons and these two pistons. So to power those four pistons, it requires three redstone. And to power the next four, it requires three redstone. And to power the next four, it requires three redstone. But if we take a look see at this design right over here, we can see that to power uh, these four pistons, it technically only takes this one redstone. And to power the next four, it takes three. So on average, it takes two redstone to power four pistons, where in this one it takes three redstone to power four pistons on average. So this is actually, uh, it requires many, many fewer resources. And the cool wave effect is really just an added bonus. So there you go. That is my, I guess, redesign for the uh, reed farm in your videos. If you'd like to use this, I would be thrilled. That would make my day. And yeah, I guess, I guess that's pretty much it. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked this video, leave a like. If you would like to see more videos like it, leave a subscribey thingy. If you have any questions or comments, please leave a comment or send me a message. Tune in next time uh, for something that's going to happen. Thank you very much for watching. Terrorantor is out.